Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Canary Islands Seismic Crisis September 2021 update. Wednesday, September 15th, around 9 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. Now, La Palma, Canary Islands. The Earth continues to rumble as the uptick continues. Earthquakes continue becoming shallower and larger. Around 10 hours ago today, we had a major 3.5 in the swarm, one of the largest in the entire swarm's history, kick off with a 3.2 and subsequently larger than normal quakes in the swarm activity. Now, the seismic cr con crisis continues with no signs of slowing. More than 250 quakes large enough to be located were detected during the last 24 hours. Hours of powers, minutes ago, the 3.2 followed by a 3.5. So this is reporting is six hours old, and we're going to get to some more major findings as well as, well, another astounding discovery that we're going to bring to your attention in just a moment. So stick with us. Let me move this screen capture over here so you can actually see the seismicity here to the left of the screen. Bear with us. Yes, we've done it. Now we're just going to walk you through some of the seismic activity over the last 12 hours. And you can see the 3.5 magnitude hitting here after the 3.2 that was reported on in the last update. So the activity increased until uh, the largest earthquake in the swarm history. And then there was a lull. If you look at this, this is 1229 UTC, 13, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15. 16, 17, 19. So for about three or four hours, almost no earthquakes occurred. And then the activity recently picked back up again and the swarm continues in the northern region. So the swarm is continuing after a lull in activity after the largest earthquakes. What that means is anyone's guess, this may be the final crack in the back of the island before the eruption begins. No one's willing to go out on a limb here to say much more than what I'm saying, but I want to bring you over here to the Straits of Gibraltar. Now, the quakes are happening here in the island complex here of the Canary Islands, and La Palma is this island. But I believe that all these quakes, uh, all these vulca volcanic uh, islands are related. So I don't know if you know, but underneath the Mediterranean here, just east of the Straits of Gibraltar, there are many volcanic complexes. And if we come over here to the legend, we can see here this massive reddish structure is a lava dome. And we can see here, just above this U-shaped cup here, this green island here, is probably a fissure vent or a, a cinder cone, a cone, an underwater volcano. So there's all types of underwater activity happening here in the Straits of Gibraltar. Now, let me blow your mind. As the activity at La Palma increased, uh, about 24 hours later, massive amounts of activity began to happen in the Mediterranean. So what we have now is a secondary seismic swarm happening in the Mediterranean. It's been ongoing for three days, the same length of time as the seismic swarm that has been occurring at La Palma, and I believe it's related to a, a, a worldwide, a global uptick in activity that is now being kicked off in the Canary Islands and here in the Mediterranean. Now, this region in question has experienced some pretty big activity, 3.3, 2 magnitude, lots of larger earthquakes in Alboron. And that's what we're seeing here in this seismic swarm, a lot larger activity. Now, according to the European Maritime Affairs uh, official underwater earthquake map. Can you believe they have that? I, I love Spain. This is a resource that we do not have in the U.S. But in Spain, they have an underwater volcano resource here. And that seismic swarm, let's just put it in perspective for you guys. So here is the cup and here is the ridge. Let's look at that U-shaped cup and the ridge here. Are you following me? This is amazing, this type of science we're doing together. So here's the U-shaped cup and here's the ridge. And let's just see where this is uh, locating itself. Directly above the peninsula here is where the, the majority of the activity is happening, which is right here, which would be this green zone. 
a cone or a fissure event. So this volcano or this cone or this fissure event may be about to erupt as well as the Canary Islands. That would be a one-two punch. Well, in the Eastern European region as well as Northern Africa. So we have two events happening currently that we're monitoring. Both uh, equally significant. The Mediterranean event uh, in this volcanic complex here on the Straits of Gibraltar. If this is significant, this would stop shipping in this region. I mean, it would be a nightmare. Uh, not to mention an amazing and spectacular vision. And then we also have the ongoing event here in La Palma that we're monitoring closely for you, albeit we don't have much bandwidth. So there's that. So here we are back at La Palma. And we'll just bring this up one more mag for you. And we can see that, like I said earlier in the podcast just a few minutes ago, that there, there was an uptick. Uh, that had, The last report was on volcano discovery. Almost no major uh, mainstream reporting outlet has picked up on this. They just don't have the scientist or the wherewithal to cover any of this information. That may be a good thing or a bad thing, but what you should glean from this is that we are the number one source of information now coming from the North African outbreak of seismicity now at La Palma and in the Eastern Mediterranean near the Straits of Gibraltar, which is an underwater volcano of no name. Now, the volcano here on uh, La Palma does have a name, and that's La Cumbre Vieja. But this is the main vent from the 1949 explosion. It has also erupted in the south here in this region. So, just not a caldera currently. So it's more of a fissure eruption if it occurs in this region. But a VEI-2 is historically the norm. So anything VEI-2 or greater in this region where that slump and that fault is happening could be devastation and tsunami could ensue. Now, as far as what we're seeing here in the Mediterranean, it's anyone's guess, but it is amazing that we have a multiplicity of events. Here we're coming up above Rabat here, Tangier, and then we come through the Straits of Gibraltar, just south of Malaga and, and closer to Africa than Spain there. We see the cluster of quakes at the largest one here, a 3.3 magnitude happening in the last three days. And this is an uptick in the subsurface volcanoes in this region. And we're just going to, let's just try to blow this map up the same size as the one we're looking at. Uh, to maybe give us a better idea of exactly what's happening. So here is that U-shaped bay and the peninsula. And here we have a fissure vent or a cone in the subsurface. And here is that U-shape. Let's see if it's pretty similar. Yes, that's similar scale. And then so straight above there on the ridge, that's where the activity is happening. Now, according to this map, that it was right here in this volcanic region. So... Do areas of worry, the most worrisome is La Palma and the Canary Islands with the likelihood of a new volcanic eruption increasing as we have a seismic swarm with some large activity happening close to the surface. We are following it for you. I've had this live map up all day. I've been checking every few minutes so that we know what's going on, which is obviously why I detected this region here, which is a no-brainer. Anyone who's been looking at this map, if they didn't recognize this region, hello! But what I want to say to all those listening is that proper prior preparation prevents piss poor performance. Hello, in a dystopian world where, well, the mainstream is hiding information from you, we're bringing it to you live as fast as we can and as best as we can. The Canary Islands on the uptick. We now have some new activity in the Mediterranean, which we have confirmed uh, is a subsurface volcanic region. And what else could go wrong? <laughs> That's a boom to science and to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. We love each and every one of you. Thanks to our one-time donors, our Patreons. We're up all night. We just had some uh, visitors, big fans of the channel. Big thumbs up to Melinda Biddle and uh, Jesus Christmas, I forget his name. Dr. Bowser Brower. Well, we're going to get him on the show. He has his own YouTube channel and... We've got a lot to talk about. So we're monitoring the situation for you. I do have to sleep. So I do have some 
um, seismic monitors that will awake me in the evening if we need be. But the best bet is to be prepared and not scared before the event happens. We love each and every one of you. Be a hero and share this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And thank you for watching. We'll see you all in the morning. Nah, nah, nah.